Hello everyone, my name is Alok Pandey and this is second video tutorial on Hibernate. In this tutorial, we are going to learn what are the subtopics that we have to cover in this series. And second, we have to learn how to create environment for Hibernate project. Third, what is MVC pattern? So, let's start to do that here. First, the subtopics that we have to cover is DDL operation, catch a support, Third operation, hybrid criteria, hybrid HTML query, hybrid object state, hybrid ORM relations, and pagination primary key generator. All these topics we have to cover one by one in sub lectures. So, in the first lecture, in the sense after this lecture, we have to cover DDL operation. In the DDL operation, there are four sub topics: create object, create drop, validate. That we will learn in coming lectures. So, let's check how to create an environment for creating a Hibernate project. Here we need some tools to create a Hibernate project. The tools are first a JDK or we can say a platform where we have to create the project. JDK in the sense Java platform. Second, Eclipse GUI based editor, third a Hibernate jar files, fourth a database. Database is used to store the data for there are number of options for using number of database, but here we are going to use Oracle database. You can use any other like SQL, MySQL or any other, but in this video series, we are going to use Oracle database. So here first we need to download JDK. For downloading JDK, we, you will have to go in the Google and just download JDK. I have already downloaded all that tools, but I will show you how to download that. Just go in Oracle site, and here is two option. You have you can download NetBeans with JDK 8. Otherwise, you can download only JDK. Here is JDK, and uh, I have already downloaded. So I, so I don't need to download all that things. Second, we will have to download. Hibernate for downloading Hibernate, just type here Hibernate. The complete path is given here in the top of Hibernate. You can see here, and the stable version of Hibernate is 5.1.0 final version, and you can download it from here. Just click on that link. The downloading is, will be started automatically, but I have already downloaded, so I don't need to download it again. It will come in a zip file, so you will have to unzip in a folder. So download it and unzip in a folder, wherever you want in your computer. So third one is Eclipse Editor, that is free version. You can download it from. Just type in Google download E O W N L O H download Eclipse. Yes, you can see here the complete path that is given here eclipse.org.downloads. I have already downloaded for 64 bit. You can download any one of them that you require 32 bit or 64 bit. And uh, if you have to work on web application, then download Eclipse ID for Java EE developers, as you can see here. And if you have to download for Java application, you can download here Eclipse ID for Java developers. So Next, 
we have to cover what is a MVC pattern. So let's check that. MVC pattern is a architecture that we follow to create a project. MVC pattern is divided in three parts model view control, controller. As you can see, M for model, view, V for view, and C, C for controller. In model, the sub topics, sub layers are there some services, DAO classes, business classes. Same in the view. There is three sub layers view, validation, design. And in the controller parts, if you have to use on web application, then you will have to use servlet or JSP to control the form data. If you are working with standalone application, then you will have to use any class classes. So let's start from first model. In the model, there is a DAO. DAO in this is data access object. This is the object that is used to make operation on a database like insert update delete if you have to do any operation on database you can create a DAO class and you can use that for logical operation like addition subtraction or any other operation you can use business class business classes and for services you can go for glassfish jbosh or any other servers that is third party applications Suppose if you have to transfer a uh, amount from one bank to another one account to another account, then you will have to follow a rule, certain rules from uh, actually we can say that if you have to transfer an amount from one account to another account, you will have to just enter the amount and account number from one account to another account suppose if you are transferring 5000 from one account then the 5000 must be de uh, deducted from first account and in second account that 4000 rupees must be added suppose you have transferred 5000 and this 5000 is deducted from your account but in the second account it is not added that time you will have to do it rollback operation for rollback operation you will have to use a services that is used globally and for services you need a third party application that is provided by Glassfish and JBoss that we will see later. So, for this type of operation, we will go for Glassfish or JBoss services. Okay, in the model part, the things that we use to create a model part is JDBC, EJB into JDBins, and Hibernate or uh, JPA. JDBC Entity beans and JP are provided by Sun Microsystem and Hibernate is provided by third party that is called Gavin King. He have developed a framework for database operation. <coughs> so the Hibernate use is only for model part. The other remaining part is not used in Hibernate. And uh, let's go for a second view. View in the sense where the users interact with HTML, XHTML, JSP that is used for view op op operation, where the customers or users interact and give some request and take some response, like form filling. The customer inputs some value in the form and we take it. In a controller part, using controller, we store in database. In the view, we need three subparts: validation and design. 
validation in the sense we validate the forms that user users are entering proper value valid entry or not for uh, validation we use javascript jquery and angular js and uh, third is design css bootstrap jquery is used for designing a view part controller servlet or jsp that is used for web application and classes are used for standalone application web application in the sense suppose if you have a form and you have to take the data from that form you will have to use a servlet in the sense request and response op uh, operation same in the jsp and where your classes are used for desktop application or standalone application so that is the muc pattern as you can see here the proper diagram the overview of muc is a customer enter the value or request that goes to controller and controller will will order in model part and model will generate the particular response like any business operation or insert update delete or any other that a customer require then again it will send to controller part and controller will send to you part you in the sense customer where the customer interact or users interact and so you have got the points and uh, let's go for environment so for creating a hibernate application we need a hibernate jar files that i have already downloaded and uh, just we have to include in a your project so first let me create a project click on new go for dynamic project click here here i am going to use your application first but i will use standalone application also in later lectures so just input some names suppose i am typing your sample project okay finish it sample project right click here and build path configure build path we have to include jar files of hibernate add external jars click on add external jars as you can see here i have downloaded it and unzipped in a folder that folder is in download file here hibernate release 4.3.1.0 we are going to use hibernate 4.3.10 version 1.10 so let's include it go in library folder and required jar files select all that and open it yes control a apply okay so let's check it we have to also include in leaf folder but here you can see all the jar files that we have included look here hibernate common hibernate core jpa final and all that jar files that we have included so what are the files that we have to use in this project there are commonly four files that we have to use for a hybrid project that is a class a servlet file that is controller a bean file that is used for model 
and uh, a mapping file that maps maps from bin to database and uh, fourth one is a configuration file that you will see in next lecture but here the environment is created here let's uh, include one more file that is thin package for database let's go on project build path add external jars go in download here is and to be yes ojdbc dot jar that is used for oracle you will have to download it from oracle site apply it okay i think it's done yes let's check in java resources libraries javos yes ojdbc saver it is included so in this video that's all in next video we will create a project and we will see a proper output for this project and we will discuss on detail operation thank you to watch if you like this video you can like it or subscribe it if you have any questions related to this topic you can ask on the comment section thank you to watch